Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Dan, and today we're going to be looking at some really amazing Dungeons & Dragons stuff sent from Solo Pop, which I cannot wait to take a closer look at. And then also, if you guys are interested in winning tickets to Comic-Con Africa, stay till the end of the video and I'll let you guys know how you can stand a chance to win some tickets to Comic-Con Africa. So what actually is Dungeons & Dragons? Dungeons & Dragons is this cooperative storytelling game where your imagination as a group is really the limit. You get to go on these grand scale adventures and you can choose to focus more on smaller side quests if you would like. Um, there's a group of players who interact with the game and then there's a dungeon master. The dungeon master is pretty much the, the referee, if you will, of the campaign, of the story. And they're the storyteller. They, they, they tell you the rules, they explain the world and they pretty much direct the the sort of storyline if that makes sense so Dungeons and Dragons has been around for close to 50 years now which is absolutely insane 50 that's a long long time and you've seen its influence throughout pop culture um obviously Stranger Things is a great example of that where literally they they reference uh, Dungeons and Dragons in the the, the storyline for that the, that series but I really do think that the, the actual storytelling elements of Dungeons and Dragons have been riddled throughout a lot of pop culture over these last 50 years. Also, if you'd like to know how to play D&D and get started, go check out my friend Caleb's video. I'll link it in the description. He goes into great but also simple details on how to get started making your own campaign, being a DM, or making your own character. Really, really good stuff. I highly recommend it. I've watched it a couple of times now because I'm going to be DMing for the first time. I've played Dungeons and Dragons before, but I'm going to be a DM for the first time in a couple of weeks, starting my own campaign. And his video helped me out a lot. Dungeons and Dragons is also for everyone. If you're a new fan or if you're a fan who's been around and been playing this for years, that's fine. That's all good. But it is for everyone. And that's what I love about this stuff, especially, is that if you are a, a seasoned Dungeons and Dragons uh, player or DM, the stuff is still worth picking up. But I would say if you are a new player, this stuff could potentially be essential in picking up to starting your campaign or to, to getting a group going. This stuff is really, really helpful in that and it directs you and it's, it's very easily laid out for you. So let's get into it. Let's open the stuff up. Let's take a look. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so firstly, I think we should take a look at the essential kit. So I think if you had to pick up anything out of all the stuff that sort of pop have sent through, the essential kit would probably be the best place to start. This essential kit has literally everything you need to get going. Um, you've got your dice here, which is really, really helpful. And they've also sent through four D6s. Um, and if you guys know a bit about character creation, a lot of people use the D6s for character creation. So having four of them really is helpful. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into that because I'm not gonna have a lot of time for that in this video, but that does really make things a lot easier for getting going. Having four D6s and two D20s as well. Because um, a lot of the time, if you are getting going with a group or starting out, you're probably gonna be sharing things, especially some of the dice um, until you get your own set. So having a, like two D20s is a very helpful because that's probably the, the dice you're going to use the most um, in Dungeons and Dragons. So that's really, really cool. I'm very stoked about that. And these, these dice themselves actually look really nice. Like the, the color's great. They look really good quality. Um, and you don't really expect this level of quality for like a starting kit like this. Um, so I'm, I'm really stoked with that. That's really awesome. And you also get this fold-out box, um, which is for cards. I'm not going to uh, unfold this right now, but um, you have a few uh, cards in this box here that you that you can put into that, which is really good. So I'm, I'm like, they didn't have to include this in the box, but I'm really happy they did because uh, it just makes like storage and stuff really easy. If you're playing like Dungeons and Dragons at, at a friend's house and it's maybe not your usual spot where you're playing, having like a little box to put everything in is helpful. I know a lot of people who would sort of just go around to different houses playing the same campaign, but at different venues. So having stuff to store all your stuff really does make a big difference. So then also included in this box is the Dragon of Us Spire Peak Adventure. So pretty much this is a mini campaign in itself. As a dungeon master, you can follow this campaign from this book. Um, and it, it's also like really well printed. It's really well detailed. Um, it's got like everything you need to know in here. You should be able to run this, this adventure, this campaign very easily because of how well laid out and detailed this uh, adventure booklet is. They've got stats for monsters in here. They've got everything you need. They've got like dungeon layouts. It's, it's amazing. Um, so I was very impressed with the detail in this book. I'm very, very impressed. Okay, and then we've got a bunch of um, 
different cards here. So let me just take them all out. So these sheets are actually all cards that you can um, obviously remove from the sheets and um, they, they, they help with this adventure. Um, so there's initiative cards here, there's magic item cards, there's NPC cards here, there's quest cards, um, and it's all here just to, to sort of make the, the running of this adventure um, a lot more enjoyable and a lot more, I guess, easier to follow and manage. Um, some of this stuff isn't necessarily essential, but I think it makes a big difference in running the campaign. Um, I think a DM, especially a starting out DM, will benefit a lot from having this. And also just new players, it's it's nice having a visual representation of things. So, um, okay, this is the initiative one, but um, where's the NPC one? Uh, is the NPC one in here somewhere? Oh, right, here we go. So like just, just having NPCs, like just having a visual representation of the NPCs can be very helpful. So when an NPC does show up, you have a visual representation of what they look like, um, which is cool and it will help you remember them. So I think these are really great, really, really helpful. Um, they're really well detailed. They've got all the information you need on them. Um, we've got like magic items here. Essentially, I think these cards will just be very helpful in running this adventure for both players and the DM. Um, and then that's what this little card box is used for. Once you punch all these cards out of here, you can put them in that box and I think that makes a big, big difference. This is really, really cool. I'm very happy they included this. Um, I don't think it was necessarily essential to include it, but it goes a long way and it's gonna make your adventure a lot more enjoyable um, and a lot easier to follow, I think. Then we just have this here. This is just an um, advert advertisement for the other d, &D items, which is really cool. Um, so definitely, yeah, if you do buy this essential kit, keep that, Keep that in the background because you might want to get some more stuff later on. Um, then we have the rules book. So this is just also just the basics on how to get going here. There's rules here for everything, for the monsters, um, suggested characteristics, there's, there's stuff here for character creation, there's stuff here to explain how to play the game, how to get going. Um, it's really, really well detailed. Obviously the player's handbook, which we're going to be looking at just now, goes into a lot more depth than this does. But if you have not yet got the player's handbook or if that's something you might want to get down the line, this is great to get started with. There's a lot of content in here. It's also a really nicely done rule book. The quality feels really good and solid. The pages are printed nicely. Some really good um, printing on here. It's not so, not some flimsy little like rule book that you're just going to chuck, chuck to the side. I really do think this is, is going to be very helpful. Um, and they did a really good job of making it like quite high quality. So really, really great as well. Alrighty, and then we have a DM screen here. So this is obviously for the DM and um, you'll be able to fold it out like so and then just be able to put it like that. What I love about this is just the artwork. I'm a sucker for artwork. Like I love buying concept art for books and I love buying art books and stuff. So when I see good artwork, I really do love it. And um, I just love this this uh, DM screen. It's really cool because it's sort of at the on the right here, it shows like the start of an adventure sort of towards the end of an adventure here, which is really cool. And then obviously on the flip side, there's a, a few things here that would help a, a DM out. Um, some stats here for monsters um, and some descriptions and stuff like that. And then yeah, action and combat. What else has it got here? Yeah, some conditions. Um, they've got like travel pay stuff uh, here, cover, food, drinks, and, and uh, loading. So it's really good. This is very, very helpful for a DM. Um, I think a, a DM screen is almost essential for DMs. Uh, it's very difficult doing like a campaign without one, I would say. So this is very, very cool. And um, the artwork is stunning. Soda Pop did send me like a DM kit like a DM screen kit, which I'm really excited to unbox. So I might not necessarily use this, but I definitely do think I will be uh, just taking a look at the artwork every once in a while, because I really I really love the artwork. Cool, then we've got a bunch of character creation sheets, which are very, very helpful. Um, there is also an app which you can use to fill out your character creation, but sometimes while you're playing, it is a bit of a mission to go back and forth from an app to, to your, your campaign that you're in. Um, so having a visual representation on paper can be very helpful. So um, I do definitely recommend having at least one uh, physical copy of your character creation. And this essential kit includes that, um, which is really, really nice. It's got everything you need here. Um, yeah, it's great. It's really cool. They've included a lot of copies here as well, which is awesome. So um, that's that's great. And then finally, we've got a map here. And um, this is a two-sided map of this adventure. So of uh, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, um, as you can see here, this is just absolutely stunning. I've got it upside down. I think I do. Oh no, this one goes this way. Okay, so that's Sword Coast, which is a part of this adventure. And then we've got the um, little uh, town here. 
uh, which is also a part of this adventure, which is really, really cool. So this is really amazing because as you follow this adventure, you'll be able to refer to this map, I'm sure, on multiple occasions. Um, and again, it's just great having a visual representation of what is actually going on. Um, although it is your imagination, this game is definitely full of your imagination and your imagination is what runs this game, I would say. Having visual representation from time to time can enhance that, I think. Um, and they did an excellent job with this map. I mean, it is absolutely stunning and they definitely put a lot of effort into this. Um, it looks absolutely great. Um, and we'll definitely be referring to this as we play. So that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, I do highly recommend this essential kit if you are new to Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I think it will definitely make just getting used to the game a lot easier and I think it will also make you just excited to get even more involved in Dungeons and Dragons. Cool guys, so that is the essential kit for D&D and as I said earlier, if you guys are getting started, this is a great place to start, seriously. Um, it's got everything you need to get going here um, and it lays out everything quite nicely for you um, just to sort of jump into this, this adventure and get going. So definitely recommend that. I would say out of all of this stuff, this is probably the best place to start if you are getting into D&D. Cool, and then let's take a look at the player's handbook now. This is awesome. <laughs> I love this book. Look how thick this book is. That is crazy. And again, it's got some beautiful, beautiful artwork on here. Um, it's just made so well, like the quality feels amazing. So this book is a great reference for just everything D&D. Um, it tells you a lot about character creation stuff here, how to improve your character, how to advance your character. There's a lot of stuff here about spells as well, or about leveling up, um, about backgrounds, about combat. Uh, so it's a very, very helpful guide uh, for D&D. And I would say once you've got the essential kits, this would probably be the next best thing to pick up in my opinion. Um, it goes into great detail about pretty much everything, especially for players. Um, I think DMs will get a lot out of this book as well, but this is definitely helpful for players. Um, so definitely take a look. But I think for myself, who is gonna be a DM in this next campaign, there's a really a lot in here that I've taken a look at that is extremely helpful um, and I've learned a lot. So this is really, really good. I highly, highly recommend this, this uh, player's handbook. Cool, and then we're gonna be taking a look at the Dungeon Master screen, the Dungeon Kits, which is really, really cool. There are different versions of this that you can get. So um, this is the Dungeon one, which is really cool. And I think, in my opinion, the Dungeon one, from what I've seen, might be my favorite one, um, if I'm honest. So to start us off, we've got some of these Dungeon uh, Geomorph cards. So pretty much what you do is you make these all into cards. It's like the, the one from the Essentials Kit. You, you just pretty much make these sheets into cards. Um, you can, like a little, part here that you can um, sort of tear off, uh, which is really cool. And then you can sort of uncover dungeons as you go, which is really, really cool and really fun. Um, and as you can see here on this side, obviously they would all be split into cards, but each card would essentially fit together, which is cool. So you can create a very sort of dynamic and interesting dungeon um, just from these tiles, which is really, really cool. Then you've got some initiative um, cards here as well, which is really cool. Awesome that they included those. And you've got some condition cards as well, which is really, really cool. Um, so you can use these while you are in these dungeons as well, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, these are also punch out cards, which are cool. So I'm glad that they included that. Cool, then you've got this grid map here, which is awesome that they included that. And then you've got this, on the flip side of that, there's this action and combat page, which just goes into details on what you can do during combat, which is really, really helpful, especially if you're starting out as a DM. This is gonna help you out a lot. So that's really, really cool. So I glad that they included that as well. Very awesome. Then you got another uh, sort of pop-out uh, card box here, which is great. This one looks quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, you can put all your, your cards in here, your condition cards and your, your dungeon cards, all of that can go into here, which is really, really cool. And then the main attraction from this uh, kit here is the DM screen. So this thing is just, Absolutely stunning. My word, this is beautiful. Like, guys, I was talking about the artwork earlier, man. You guys must take a look at this. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. It's so awesome. It's awesome. It's stunning, man. I cannot wait to use this. Like, it's awesome. Um, 
yo, I love the artwork so much. It's really, really great. And on the flip side of this, you've got a whole bunch of information here as well, which you can definitely use as a DM. The stuff about um, sort of conditions that and the chance of the cards that you get in this pack, which is cool. You've got dungeon uh, chambers on the left here. You've got travel pace, you've got state of ruin. So it's stuff that like ties into dungeons and stuff, which is cool. So I really do think this is, again, very helpful for DMs. Um, and yo, guys, the, art, the artwork. The artwork. Look how badass that is. It's amazing. Look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. I love it. Yo, I, I got like super excited when I saw this. Like, I, I, yeah, I love, I love art. I love art. Um, okay, and then finally, speaking of art, um, we have got a really, really awesome adventure outlined coloring book um, with all the illustrations by Todd James. This is obviously also Dungeons and Dragons related. And what I love about this is it gives like a very cool visual representation on a bunch of different creatures, a bunch of different monsters from D&D. Um, and Todd James is a great illustrator as well. So you get to color in his illustrations in this book. Also just love the cover. It just stands out and pops out so nicely. So it would be cool to almost color it in in like similar colors to the cover. I don't know, I might do that. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to coloring this in as well. It's very, very cool. Um, it's got like a little bit of like a description on each uh, sort of coloring page on the side there, which is cool. So yeah, I really like this. Um, very, very cool. It's a nice D&D related activity when you're not actually playing D&D. Cool guys, so if you are wanting to pick up any of this stuff, it was all distributed here in South Africa by Solar Pop, and they distribute to stores like Take-A-Lot, Loot, Rauru, and physical stores like Toy Kingdom and Comic Warehouse. If you are wanting to pick up D&D stuff, go check out those places. Um, and if you want more information about this, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure I could try to help you or contact Solar Pop directly. I'm sure they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Okay, so I'm sure some of you are waiting for the Comic Con talk, the Comic Con chat. So, so Solar Pop and Unplug Yourself ZA are going to be at Comic Con this year and they've partnered with me to give away some tickets to Comic Con Africa. So I'm really, really excited to be doing that. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you are looking forward to most about this year at Comic-Con Africa. And I'm going to be selecting winners next week, Friday, which is the 19th of August. So if you would like to win tickets to Comic-Con Africa, then definitely comment down below and let me know what you're looking forward to most about Comic-Con this year here in South Africa. Cool guys, so thank you so, so much for joining me in this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this review of some of these items. Um, and definitely let me know what you're looking forward to most about Comic-Con Africa this year. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, stay safe out there. Bye-bye.